Hey yo, it's Talib Kweli, the BKMC, the MCEO. You are now checking out Word TV, thought-provoking hip hop for your mind. Word is bomb. Recently, we had the opportunity to speak with Mr. Lith, and it was a very politically charged interview. So check this one out. Pay close attention. It started with two turntables and the mic, lightning strike, electricity, MC rip rhymes, DJ cut the wax viciously, the combo, maliciously raw, ingenious, and precise, mad nice, soon to be subject to mad heist, niggas talking about they walk mad ice, living mad shice in the valley. What's up, I'm Axiom for the Word TV, and I'm here with Mr. Lift. how you doing, man? I'm chilling, man, I'm always glad to be in Vancouver, man, or anywhere in British Columbia, it's beautiful out here. So, as far as promotion, I mean, what you're doing for this tour is you're mm. trying to put out, you're putting out a new record, man. Oh so. yeah, yeah, the new album is called I Heard It Today. You know, it's actually uh, April 21st is, is the uh, date that the CD will be in stores, but it's been on iTunes since April 14th. And ultimately, man, this is a record that was so largely inspired by the, um, that, that by this very recent and current era that we're living through where, you know, um, you know, September 15th, I'll never forget it, September 15th, um, you know, 2008, when and it was announced that Wall Street had basically imploded, um, you know, and everyone's financial future all of a sudden was in flux. Um, you know, uh, that's where a song like uh, the album opener, actually, Welcome to the World, is directly based on a lot of the energy, the uh, the angst um, that 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 I felt was this widespread panic amongst amongst you know people that were you know in their 60s who had lost their retirement funds that they were about to access, uh, young people who were trying to stack some bank for later on. I mean, it hit everybody. Yo, yo, my house is like a bunker. I won't open the door. Shut off the fucking TV because all I'm seeing is war. Chaos projected till my dome is infected. Shit's hectic. This is a greater depression. Politicians are henchmen working for corporations. Wealth concentration camps, they won't give us a chance. On the backs of the many, so the few can advance. You know, I have a song like The Sun, which is a song that's like, you know, supposed to project love and energy and, so, you know, hopefully build up the self esteem of everyone that's going through tough times. So I came from the wind, came from the seas, came from kings, came from queens, provided means to express what's seen. I'm the hope that'll gleam when things seem useless, futile. Free. I'm hoping you can use this. The truth can be ruthless. You're launching your attack, then you need some theme music. I just try to really make an album by the people for the people. You know what I'm saying? That I felt like that's what that's what this this era called for. Hip hop is a force to be reckoned with, right? Yeah, it is, man. It's it, if it's used properly, man. I mean, I think you know, in all forms, you know, even if it's just you know being used as a dance music. I mean, dance is powerful, man. If you can evoke people to just want to move to the rhythm, I mean, that's a powerful thing, you know. And um, you know, and uh, you know, and then but also. You know, I think that it's important to add on with uh, with sincere ideas and feelings um, and thoughts about situations that really are affecting us all. So while a lot of other artists out there are, you know, providing the escapism route through through much more lighthearted stuff, you know, I'm, I'm touching upon some of the realities and just trying to, you know, I put my thoughts out there and see if they resonate with the people. And, you know, hopefully there's people out there that are struggling that hear my album that are like, yo, man, I feel like there's someone else out there that can relate or you know maybe they listen to the to the album they feel like okay man well this dude really captured you know the pulse of the times and 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 i feel like you know maybe i provide a little strength for people man that's what i'm hoping if they controlled it before what are you why don't what makes you think they're not controlling it now all right let's uh kick it down a notch here maybe okay, get yeah. on the dark side of things yes uh cool. there's a recent documentary uh, alex jones made called uh, the obama deception uh -huh, yeah uh, you have a song called obama uh, yeah and in that documentary, he features KRS-One, mm -hmm. who's quoted to say something along the lines of, uh, you put a black face on the New World Order, mm -hmm. I ain't buying it. Right, right. Do you care to comment on that? Yeah, I mean, you know, I, I know that that comment from KRS, but then I also uh, am familiar with when I, I think it's in the, the same uh, documentary where you're talking about the Obama deception, where KRS says, you know, you know, people were up in arms and then he was like, and then all of a sudden, they, you know, they threw a black president up and everyone went from being like this to being like, you know, he was like diffused, you know? And I mean, these are... Um, these are some of the same points and concerns I had when I wrote the song Obama because you know there was just this this overwhelming enthusiasm and optimism connected to him which and I'm not saying that there shouldn't have been um, you know, he's the first black president in the United States um, you, you know you can't well that enthusiasm is such a beautiful thing to just catch on it's a beautiful thing it, and, and it, w it was a beautiful thing but I just got concerned that you know people were you know too much 
optimism, not enough skepticism, because, you know, it's not like all of a sudden the American government has, you know, abandoned its global, uh, you know, its global domination agenda or anything like, if anything, they're in a more humble position now because of the economic collapse and they need a more diplomatic face uh, to, to be up there uh, talking with world leaders. I mean, it's not a coincidence that all of a sudden we have a guy now that's going around trying to make peace with, with all these other nations because America can't do the bully thing anymore right now. Uh, they, they, they full on realize that they've got to search for a different way to do business. And, um, and then I also just get concerned because, you know, while we have this person who's our president now, who we all feel so optimistic about, and he's definitely improved the, the international image of the United States, you know, to me, it's like when you've got a great front like that, that's so intoxicating and so captivating to the world, the guys in the back room that are doing the dirt could get even dirtier. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm concerned about. I'm concerned about the people that are really controlling what goes on, you know, controlling the major networks, controlling the the larger than life business transactions that ultimately dictate the the immediate the immediate future and the and the distant the financial future. crisis for example exactly you know i'm worried about what those guys are doing now that they got a great front man i mean you know before they had a guy you know bush who who people just like openly detested you know and um you know and i think that the heat was building up for them and you know had mccain won and, you know maybe there would we would have seen some serious revolt in the united states but instead we have you know people are kind of pacified right now you know, to, to an extent, to an extent. I mean, people are still upset about different things. I mean, the bailout is, you know, not, in my opinion, not proving to be, uh, you know, favor. I mean, you know, to, uh, you know, take our money to uh, give it to institutions that kind of like are responsible for our hardships in the first place. And then, and these institutions are supposed to loan us back our own money at interest. I mean, I'm not interested in that, <laughs> you know, myself, but, um, but hey, for the most part, he's a, he is a facelift for America and that's good and dangerous you know absolutely mm -hmm. uh well i mean on a lighter note mm -hmm. yeah yeah <laughs> mr lift and he's ready for that yeah thank absolutely man thank you so much for this interview i'm saying everybody out there thank you so much for viewing i hope you like the new album it's called i heard it today it is in your store and raw and ready for you to explore if you want to hear more come to the show check the flow you know what i'm saying i'm out of here peace i hope you're alive and not deceased <laughs>